sure you've all heard, no risk, no reward. It's true. And as you can see here on my comprehensive drawing, it's very necessary to, to go through risk in order to reap the reward. So Christopher Columbus had to take the risk to discover America. Katniss and Peter had to take the risk to both stay alive. I believe this message to take the risk is very life-changing and this movie is dedicated to that. So I was, I was chilling on Google Flights just trying to come up with a place that I wanted to travel to. I ended up coming across Colombia. I knew absolutely nothing about this country and after some research it seemed like a place that I probably shouldn't travel to. I also talked to some of my Colombian friends and they said that it's very dangerous for a gringo like me to be traveling there. So I, I booked the flight. Look at this view. It's not. I'm not in my apartment yet, but holy wow, that's beautiful. Check it out. Now the weather was absolutely beautiful. The weather was perfect, and I had a lot of good experiences. And I also met a friend and a local named Santiago, who actually got to show me around the city. Beautiful, beautiful viewers. I am on the move to, I don't know where, but El Centro. Pretty cool. I feel like they come here like every day and just like hang out, skate, with people dancing. It's pretty sick. Look at this absolute beauty right here. Got everyone in the back drinking alcohol. I got my freaking latte. All right, I've never had a mimosa before, but. That's pretty good. These like alcoholic orange juice. Which I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but. You know, I could rock with that. Guys, check out, I wish I was, actually I don't know if it get the view, but I wish I was up in my Airbnb right now. There's just a beautiful sunset. I mean, you can't really see it of the mountain, but you can see the orange. I found this cute little coffee shop and uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm getting uh, a sandwich and a chocolate croissant and a latte, of course. So we have arrived in San Antonio. Very poppin' area down here, you can tell. Lots of um, just like street vendors, markets, little stores and stuff. Um, I think there's like some bunch of fat statues somewhere, so I'm gonna go check them out. Ready, I found it. I found the big fat statues. Look at this guy. Pretty big. Got another one here. They're all around. I don't know what the meaning behind it is though. All right, we got some juice. Oh, that's really good. It's like a lemon lemonade with limes. I sat down at this restaurant mainly just for the Wi-Fi, and I got this drink. Don't know what it is. Funky. Tastes like some kind of funky fruit. It's pretty good though. Okay, we have arrived in uh, Pablo Escobar's hood, aka Camino 13. I don't really know my where to go. I'm gonna go up this hill. One of the things this district's known for is their um, graffiti, which I'm already seeing a lot of. It must also be known for its very steep hills. It's gonna be a brutal, brutal exploration. <laughs> but yeah, look at all the graffiti. 
it's everywhere. It makes it a little bit more, um, you know, cute, I guess. Oh my, look how high up we are. Very, very steep. You're reaching a flat part up here. It's very cool though, I love the paintings. It's like um, the slums, but very artistic. Making the best of what they have, I guess. Very cool. Literally art everywhere. Super cool. Look at this. Got, uh, es esto? Google. It's like mango juice. Very good. It was 3,000. Three mil. The juices are so good. It's like my favorite thing about Colombia. One of my favorite things. You always get juices, which are super fresh, refreshing, so cheap. They just got, got infinite fruit here. Baby. Beautiful views. I love it. Well, uh, I was just walking. This guy stopped me. He said, uh, talking about my camera again. Couldn't, I really understand his Spanish at all, but. Um, not to go that way any farther with no no good don't go turn back so I was like yeah yeah, yeah I'll turn back it's probably the right thing to do I don't know what else there left is to explore and there's like certain areas that like I need to hit or if I got them all up this mountain for a little while. That's where we're starting the vlog. We are here in Guadalupe. We're gonna be climbing all the way up there, so. bus or something that takes me to Guadalupe. I'm not really sure. Figure that out. Bonito. Bonito, si. Sí. <laughs> bus or car? Yeah, yeah. Uh Time we've no control if the sky is pink and wide. If right, we have arrived at Guatape, we got this uh, kind of just known for it's like a little little town, traditional Colombian town, all the colorful buildings and all that. Yeah, gonna find some stuff to do, hopefully, find my drone and um, get some coffee somewhere first, maybe. Uh, Cafe Frio. Muy bueno. Gonna drink this with Gino and my dad. Love the aesthetic in here. Alrighty, we're headed back to Medellin. To, um, I'm not really sure, honestly, but we're headed back, so. So, um, we're going, where are we, what are we going on? What is this called? San Javier. San Javier, it's a, like a metro it's cable? metro station with and metro cable. Yeah. Your friend's names are? Marilu. 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 And Matilde. Matilde. That's, you got, that's French, right? Yeah. Interesting. So we're gonna go high up, right? High up in the sky? So we're going to San Antonio? Or, um, no, we're going to San Javier. Oh, where, where are we going? The, what's the town called? Like San Oh, San Carlos? Sure. Something, something like that. San Cristóbal. So, what, 
park is this? Park. This is which park, amigo? This is which. <laughs> this is which park? Parque de los Deseos. The wish park. Wish. I oh, thought said witch. No. <laughs> Speak to this wall, they're gonna hear me over there. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, that's kinda cool, they're kinda far. It's amazing, oh my god. I love it. The meal was 15,000 cop, which translates to whatever is on the screen right now. Sleeping. I have bean bags here. It's very similar to Corona. It was 5,000 cop. So, very cheap. As if there wasn't enough to do all day long, the nightlife there was absolutely insane. A paisa from Medellin. <laughs> Me neither. It's refreshing to hear English. But basically, I'm here. I'm in Medellin to show that it's not dangerous. Oh. That, that you can come here and have a good time for very cheap. Yeah. I mean, this is like a dollar. This is yeah. supposed to be like six dollars in New York City. Yeah. Oh yeah. So where are you from? Yeah, New York That's City. Awesome. What about you guys? Where are you from? Canada. 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 New York City. Actually, actually, I think she's trying to. You want to join us? Yeah, of course. Okay. All right, let's come go. Along. Let's go. Where are we going? So I'm in another great people. People. You're. Cat or no, 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 Cat, Cat and Lorraine, and we got a whole group, of, a squad of English-speaking people for once. Actually, my name is Tanya. Oh, actually? <laughs> yeah. Well, nice to meet you, Tanya. <laughs> nice to I meet you. I was just hanging out. And this is a message to Don and Don's viewers. We out here in Colombia. Highly recommended. Exactly. It's been a time. And you can live like a king here. It's been a fucking time, y'all. It's true. Uh, Super blessed, super grateful. The last people I was hanging out with uh, spoke zero English. It was so hard. I hung out with them for like two two hours, and the whole conversation was through Google Translate. That's hilarious. It was so hard. Arriba, abajo, abajo. 
Salud, basically. So my first stop is here at an Irish pub to meet my friend Santiago, as you guys have seen in the, a lot of the vlogs. So I'm just saying hi, and then I'm gonna continue with my exploration and maybe meet up with some more friends. <laughs> Santiago, you're basically in like every video damn near. Yeah, I'm, I'm becoming pretty famous. Yeah. One, day, one, day, one day, one day, one day. Salud. Aguila, one of my favorite beers here so far actually. So we're getting food now. She assumes that everyone speaks English. She just like talks to them like normal. This is a Rush, and I remember you because... Is this on? Is this on? Because of Russ. You give me Russ vibes too. You know, you know like... Uh, you know there's a band called Rush. Oh no. It's like one of the most like, old oh my school God. famous... Russ now. Yeah, that's right. You heard Russ. You give me like aesthetic, like calm energy. Why you leave me? <laughs> that's oh, Russ. Here goes all that energy. <laughs> So yeah, and then uh, Tanya, Santiago. Give me a second. Give me a second. Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> we follow each other on Instagram. He invited you. <laughs> I invited you. Uh, <laughs> yo, I hope you got that on recording. Bradley. Brad. Brad. It's Brad. Don't look at me. Hey, I'm not the one who invited you. And I then I, you I have the my, hard name. Oh. I'll give you one. Adios. 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 I see you Friday. Yeah. Hey, you made it! Oh my god! What up? What's up, guys? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I've never, I've never felt so welcome. What the fuck? Dance back. Welcome to day six. She's a Pisces. Yeah. She's a, she's a Pisces. <laughs> Okay. It's red now. So here in Colombia, I am a rich cocktail man. Actually, I don't know how much this costs, so hopefully it's like Colombia prices. But this is my first ever cocktail and it is absolutely amazing. I want to find my friends. John! You're a hugger. John! No, no, no. Oh, okay. John, kidding. we were actually talking about you. Oh, really? What, yeah, what were you real. saying about me? We were saying like, it's like unreal that like when I was 19 or whatever, I was in first year university trying to like, I don't know, study for midterms and shit and trying to like meet like expectations. And I wasn't out here in Colombia traveling and like, you know, inspiring other people on the internet to be like, go out there, live out your dream. And when we met Don yesterday and when he told us he was 19, I had this moment of like, what was I doing when I was 19? I was not doing what Don was doing. The great thing about this guy is like, the fact that he came in today, and thank you, Braddy, for like calling him out. <laughs> like legit, all of us remembered you because you made an impression on us. On us, because like you actually did. We all Aww. remembered your name. We all were like, You're oh so my sweet. god, we couldn't believe like Don was Dawn. here. Because even when we went home last night, we were like, yo, that kid, like Don from New York, culinary student, super dope. He's doing. He's out there living out his dream. In the U.S., he moved out from a small town in New York. You're hyping me up too much. No, for time. real, for real. I was like, man, like, I'm 29. Ten years ago, That's I was so I wasn't doing what Don was you doing. You look as young as me. It's true, but like, thank you. But like, what I mean <laughs> is like, it's just the like the courage, the boldness you have, and also like the willingness and the open mindedness for you to like go out here and like hang out with us. Of and, course. And I, it's just like you know, it's. You don't meet a lot of people like that. And 
I think the beauty of travel is not just to see another place, but also to meet people. Meet people, Do you that's agree? the main thing, yeah. Right? For it's, sure. it's not just the places you see, because the beauty, obviously, it's there. We know that. Yeah. But it's like the people it's you It's sharing know, experiences. It's just sharing experiences with people. And like, to your point, sharing experiences with people who also have not experienced it. Like, we all are together yeah. experiencing this beauty. So there's a different kind of like, feeling to it. I don't know. This guy's a good guy. Watch his video. This guy's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Don, you are the little brother I never had, oh. and also never wanted. Um, oh, that's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. Love you, bro. Love Meeting you, you was one of the highlights of this trip. Me too. You're a really Me too. good dude. I can't wait to see what you do in life. I'll be your biggest fan, your biggest supporter. Santiago. Hi, bro. bro. I'm gonna miss you, bro. I'm gonna miss you. You're so nice to me. I'll see you soon. See you, man. I'll be back in Medellin. I love the city. Sure. I appreciate you, bro. If one day you favorite person I've met in Medellin. My, my favorite person for sure. I genuinely mean it when I say that this trip was life-changing. You know, I had to, I had to, I had to take the risk on this trip. Everyone told me not to come here. It was too dangerous. You're gonna get robbed. You're gonna get shot. Something bad's gonna happen to you. And it ended up being the most beautiful experience that I have ever witnessed. I ended up meeting some of the most genuine people that I've ever met. I, I just, it just goes to show that. Sometimes you have to take the risk if you ever want to reap the reward. As, as I kind of shown here on my very comprehensive drawing, if, if you're here and you want to be, if you want to be here, you, you got to go over the risk. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to say thank you to Santiago, Tanya, Bradley. Just I can't I can't name you all, but all you guys for just caring for me being open and letting allowing me into your life and into your your friend zone i appreciate that i appreciate the experience and for anyone watching always remember let's go to take the risk this should be like friday night